We really are facing one of the greatest environmental disasters that this part of Queensland has seen. Guess what's going to happen to your water? It's going to become a methane solvent. Uh, we didn't know nothing about it. All, the first thing we knew about it was all of a sudden we could hear the drilling. And you get a phone call and the third or fourth word out of the land officer's mouth is forced entry. They would arrive and say, you know, we've got the backing of the government, you can't do anything about it. Over the Surat Basin area, we're looking at not just six wells, but up to 40,000 wells in the region under a full development scenario. If you've got any oil compounds at all, tars or oil compounds associated with your coal seams here, you are going to have hydrogen sulphide. You are going to have toluenes poisons and the government will not tell you they're only interested in money it's not appropriate for ceos of companies to be on telly smiling about how they they so excited about the expansion of this industry they are signing contracts with the chinese the 50 billion dollar contract for the sale of the gas as far as they're concerned, it's all done and dusted. You know, farmers can't clear whatever land they like. I, I, I wonder if he's going to tell the gas companies they can't do the same. I don't like the fact that they isolate an individual. Is that we must stand up to this government with all our strength on this issue. How are you, as growers, expected to get your heads around a 750-page document on your first visit? We're fighting for one of the great natural assets of this country, the Great Artesian Basin. Suggesting to these companies that they need to start speaking to people as a community. They simply do not know what the impacts are going to be. Stephen Robinson admitted it on 60 Minutes, the goose. We've got our own Premier saying that she will resist any attempts to um, slow down the, the coal seam gas industry. Now, if we get a bushfire, that will turn into an inferno. You've got gas pipes running everywhere, you've got wells leaking, you've got thousands of people. It's just a disgrace. It's a, it's a disaster waiting to happen. We are going to be standing up there against these huge multinational industrial forces saying to them, you are not going to turn our beautiful country into an industrial wasteland. We may not have the law on our side, but I've been saying, that when it comes down to it, if all else fails, we will physically keep them off. And I think that is probably our only option. I've seen them put gas wells in videos right next to schools. This is outrageous. This is a bloke's farm. This is a paddock for, for growing wheat. Why would they want to put gas wells here? It's, it's ridiculous. And they want to build walls around our property. Who moved out to the bush to have a six metre steel wall with a bit of foam shoved in it? Unbelievable! You know, we will be prisoners in our own home. We've wrote letters to the government ministers, government people do come out, but it doesn't go anywhere. It's all about the dollars. I can assure you, your crops will not grow at all. Once they do thousands of gas wells through here, don't use your water. Don't drink the water. Before it blows, I shall remove the gas detector. I'd like to remind Anna Bly that she's the Premier of Queensland and she's been elected to her position to represent us and I'd like her to start doing that. <laughs>